Man, oh man. Friends, good morning to you. Or afternoon. Or evening. Because, of course, we're all over the world, right? Yeah. Uh, friends, this video. We say goodbye to the Merc. Myrtle hops on a trailer and she's gone. She's getting fixed. He just called me yesterday. Uh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> it had to be done. It, it's my it's my two-wheel drive, beautiful daily driver when she's friends. New exhaust. We're actually, he did a compression test on the motor. There's only 60,000 on her, but um, we're going to find uh, exhaust for it. Manifolds crack everything. You guys heard it. It's loud and it has exhaust on it. <laughs> it's a uh, straight pipe, but still <laughs> it's getting fixed. Tire or not tires exhaust. The motor is getting pulled because the head's got a, those exhaust jobs. If you've ever tried them, they're no fun. You break studs off. It's craziness. Anyway, I'm so excited. So the Merc goes down the driveway. We talk about the Merc for a little bit. And then we go hard into the new Buck and Specials that have arrived. I hafted them both. And I take them out. And I, I test a few axes, friends, in that big job. that The last big tree job we did on the video. Or on the, on the channel. Down in Cedar there. Right down the road. And I go help out splitting. And we get some good stuff going on. And the Buck and Specials, we are so close. There's a couple of minor tweaks now, uh, and these things are ready. So a uh, little longer video, 38, I think, close to 40 minutes, whatever. But hey, friends, a lot of us are in, sitting in our houses and doing the lockdown thing. So I want to throw content for you. I love you all. What a community. Catch you on the next video, friends. We'll see you at the end of this video, probably for a toodaloo. Over and out, be kind. Very exciting. Oh man, this is, I, I, I'm a little bit speechless and excited and emotional. My wife is filming this from the inside the window. She's so excited. She loves this truck. Now we done a we done a tree job for this fella, friends. Okay, and uh, he's an old hot rodder. This fella, he watches the channel, and uh, we ended up doing a tree job for him.
it, that's that Diodora where I was cutting that Hogan was climbing and I was cutting that using the the hot, uh, the little hot rod home light. And um, he was aware of the truck, and uh, we started talking about it. And uh, I don't really remember how it came in the conversation, but he uh, he's got a body shop, he's got an automotive shop, he's got the full on everything. And I actually happened to like the guy, so that always helps. So old Myrtle's going to go get some lipstick, friends. And we're all pretty excited about it because I bought this truck for $500. I do not remember how long ago. I, I honestly don't, friends. Uh, it, it, it's had to be in 15 years. I, I would think. I'm just trying to think about that now. Let's see. Honey. Do you know when I bought Myrtle? Do you, how, how, how many years ago? No, all we have to do though is like figure it out in our Facebook. <clears throat> yeah. Old Facebook. Yeah, or even the channel. Maybe no, I never had the channel then. What am I talking about? No, it would be all of a sudden there's Myrtle in pictures. It's 15 years. It would oh. not that long. No, not that long. Oh, okay. Also, I filmed that for you on video. From up here. Good. Thank you. See, my wife, she's getting smarter with the photography. She even got it up coming out of the window. So anyway, friends, I'm going to jump in here and give my hand, but uh, she's heading down the road. And uh, do, do you know what the neat thing about this truck is, friends? Honestly, the only ding it's ever received is right here. And it was me, and I was trying to scarf my way in to get some firewood out of a, of a tree job I was falling on. At working for the parks and this is the only ding this truck has ever gotten it's right there and it was a rock i tried to squeeze in somewhere and i couldn't get in and i and i yeah you can actually see it i hit right here on the fender i kind of high centered it on the and then i i only got so far so i whistled it out of there but that's it this truck is solid look down here look at the lines like we were just talking about how it actually the thing is really straight like all the lines and that friends because it was a camper, right? You see what I mean? Like the cab lines, look at it. It's dead square, this truck. It's dead square. It, it, it is in, in really good shape. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Well, I mean, she's not getting a freaking paint job or nothing, friends. Not now, anyway. We're going to, he's, he's going to give it his magic. He's going to. Give it his magic. What, what we're concentrating on, friends, is steering, brakes, and exhaust. I mean, it's... I, I have no idea. Honestly, I've never had the tires off it. I've never had the tires off it. Mind you, I use my gears a lot, so I think brakes... I'll be surprised if some of the drums aren't scuffed up and maybe got... Uh, well, it's hard to say. I know we can find parts, but... Do you know what's interesting... I watched an episode of, uh, do you guys ever watch that Vice Grip Garage? He's a good guy. He's, a, he's got a, a big channel. He was, he's got one of these trucks for his. Friends, pop over to Vice Grip Garage. Tell them Buck and Billy Ray sent you. Son, they just did a full brake job on it. So that'll be handy for us maybe. He was saying like some of the three quarter tons use half ton brake kits and stuff. Oh, I don't know. We'll find it all. It'll be fun. But he had some good tidbits on there. Forget the guy's name, but I watch his channel. I like it. Vice Grip Garage. Go check him out. Tell him I sent you over, friends. Let's give him a shout out. There goes Myrtle. She's going to get some lipstick. Look at how solid that truck looks. Pretty nice of that fella to come and get that truck. All the way on the trailer like that, friends. It's pretty nice. He's going down that nice clean driveway now. No bumps. Watch that truck just slide right out of there. Just nice and smooth. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> A couple bumps right there. Tukunk. Tukunk. Right there. You see them? That's where I put those little channels out to the side. There she goes, friends. Okay. This is a big, big moment for me, friends. It is. I, 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 I'm almost a little bit emotional. I'll be honest. I am. Yeah, I totally just screwed up. I had myself on 
And there's the other one. Friends, I've lived in I've lived on these trucks. That Mercury that just drove out of the driveway. The story of that truck's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, it looks lonely there. our new home I should park it probably cab in see look at that front end friends see how low that thing sits in the front that means the cab mounts wiped right out of it which it is I can feel it bashing against it see it that cab mount right there is gone looks like a hockey puck in there it's white finished you can see <clears throat> and it's the driver's side so Driver's sides always sit low on these trucks. <laughs> Look at her. She's cockeyed. We got to get that sitting straight. Could be rad support too. That is a 1973 Ford Crew Cab High Boy. Closed knuckle 4x4 system. 460, 4 speed. I'm going to tear the box off it, put a flat bed on it. A little wood side so I can pack power saws and just walk up beside it and reach and grab rigging. It's going to be a tree truck. Over now. Okay, it's time, friends. We're here now. I want to do something. We've got <coughs> we've got our two bucket specials <coughs> with slightly. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> sorry. With two slightly different patterns, Jonah. Nice job. Now, friends, I'm super excited. Okay. These are. These are things talked about and done, not talked about, wished upon, thought, oh, I should have done this. It's thought about, manifested, and done. It's called manifestation. It happens in my life for some strange reason. And it, oh, once I put my mind to something, I keep it there. It, it, it's something that if I really want to do it and throw energy at it, it's going to happen. And you can do the same freaking thing. Anybody can do it. It's this, this nature, natural thing that happens in the world. Natural law. Okay. Are you ready? Fucking specials. Now, let's go behind the camera like this, okay? Two separate axes, okay? See the difference in the pattern a little bit? A little thicker on top than on the bottom. The one on top is kind of like a major micro bevel, about a one inch micro bevel. Not really, I mean, it's a wedge, but there is a design to it. The bottom is convex. Not as thick on bottom, okay? Now, another thing about this is, you, you must see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes and freak indeed, okay? These are five pound axes, friends. Five pounds. They're sharp. Uh, we got some wood here that, there we go. That one's stuck. And so did that one. Those are good signs. Now, I just made this freaking axe, friends. Three or four days ago, I made it. It's a beat up, smashed up plum, okay? It, this, this thing's, it, I wish you could feel it in your hands. I do, I wish you could feel this. Hickory freaking handle. Now, the difference between those two buck and specials is, one's a 31 inch Killinger handle. Slick, thin, whippy, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little bit chilly. I gotta get moving. The other one's uh, Whiskey River, a little more skookum, not as much flex, different feel. Yeah, but this one, I showed this the other day. It's beat to rats, ganooch, ganish. It's been clobbered, but not no more. It's alive now. Did you see that? <laughs> Look at it. See, this is the beautiful thing about profile. You see what I mean? They don't get stuck. Okay? This stuff's stringy, boy. 
It's the bottom of the tree, friends. It's the very bottom of the tree. So don't be afraid to whip off the sides, okay? So check this out. This is three and a half pounds, beautiful ax. It is, the gorgeous ax. Let's, oh, another ax I got. It's Mr. Ethan Weldens. Ethan, you wanted to see your ax in action, dude. This thing's killer. It's a Tazzy on a Killinger 32. It's deadly. Now, I know these, you don't have to worry about this one. This stuff's stringy, boy. Yeah. Look at that. So this is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, see? Friends, fucking special, in action. Oh yeah, no. This is, a, this is, this tool scary. Good. There's the flick. There's another flick. It's, it's where the tree gets supported and held up. So it's where all your stringy, twisty wood is, is in the first six or eight feet of the tree. You go up six, 10 feet, pop, 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 splits like nothing, this fur, not this stuff. See that? Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Friends, this is... So, when you know they do that to you, I'll get it. There's no point though. You may as well just go like this. See, this stuff's nuts. People think the fur, no, they're mistaken. See that? That was a total flick. See that? It's crazy, friends. Okay, this axe. You guys got a runny nose when it's cold out? I can't believe this. So there's the, there's how we tried to split it before. Look. This is crazy. Look at this, friends. Look at, I want you to see this. That's why I'm bringing it over here, okay? It's stringy and crazy down at the buttress, okay? Most woods are like that. This bucking special, it's, it's what I wanted to build. It's what I pictured, okay? We did it. We freaking did it. Yes, indeed we did. Here's the buttress piece coming up. This is tough splitting. Very tough split. I don't know if I want to attack this right now. But that's what it's all about. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Friends, this is not pretty. It's not. Nope. No. See how that's stuck in? Friends, this is this is scary wood, okay? I'm a little ways away from you, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now, watch what happens. Now, okay, we got all that. 
Now, you're not gonna split this piece of wood across like normal. You're just not gonna do it, it's not gonna happen. Okay, we go. This stuff's nuts. I wanna show you something. I just wanna show you this to give you an idea. Okay, this is the buttress of this tree. You see what it does? See the whip, the spinniness of it and the stringiness? You're not going across. You're not gonna split it going across like this. You're just not gonna get it. You, you will, but it'll just be senseless. Senseless and painful. Okay? And, and you, you don't wanna do that to yourself. I don't. Okay? So, there's the five pound bucket special, gobbling through it. Here's, here's Ethan's ax that I'm quite confident with. On a spindly Killinger, oh my goodness. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> it's so stringy. It, it's almost not even, Ethan, your axe is beautiful. I'll show you. I'll show you on some different stuff. But Ethan, just so you know. Look at that. Look at this. So, it's going to get it. Amazing. Just totally stringy. It's not the right axe. It's not the right axe. You want this thing right here, right now. See that? Okay. Buck and spash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing's... Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Friends, uh... <laughs> This wood right here is the bottom of the tree. These okay. pieces are horrible. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Can you guys see that from there? Okay, you get the picture. You get the picture. I don't like splitting my wood when it's rolling at me. Here we go. Look at it hang together. Nuts. Wow. So that's the buttress. Actually, the buttress is right there. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. There's that piece of wood split. Amazing. Now, we're moving on. We're gonna move on up to here now. Here we go. Let's get over here. Now, we're gonna start with my buddy, Ethan's ax. It's a, it's a tassie with a bit of a blunter, blunter entrance. But not ter it's actually quite nice, but it is a blunter entrance. But uh, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. It, it's on straight grain, you, you don't have any, no troubles. Okay? See how you gotta flick it or you're gonna bust your axe up, like this one for instance. If, if you just go like that, you're going through the wood and you're smashing your axe all up like this. Watch. 
you know what I mean. Okay, let's let's flip this one on its back here. Ethan, you got a nice tool here, my friend. Oh, it just split it right in half. It just split it right in half. See, this is... This is crazy. This is what I'm talking about, friends. The flick. Ethan, you got a wicked ax, brother. It's, it's actually nimble compared to these five pounders of mine. Now I wanna try this plum that I made real quick. Real quick. I know what it's gonna do because I make them all the time. It's no surprise to me. It's absolutely no surprise. It's not hard wood to split, friends. That's not what I'm getting at. There's a sound you're looking for, okay? Okay. Okay piece of wood like that. <sighs> right? You guys ready? Done. It's sharp enough to bust through and it's and it, the profile's right enough to kick it to the side. It's just it's just what it is. This is a beautiful axe, this one, it's gorgeous, that's that, uh, okay, now, let's change position, oh no, we got more wood here yet, time for the bucket specials again, yeah, this is gnarly, this one, I can tell, yep, okay, we're getting through it here. Yeah, see, instantly. This thing's bad. It's bad. It, it really is. Weight is one thing, absolutely. But profile is another. Stringy. God, that's stringy. <sighs> Friends, the flick can go either way. Okay? Look at that, friends. You know what's interesting about this? Is the crack starts here and ends up down over to the right at the bottom. What does that tell you? It tells you that the wood's got a problem. Whenever they're like that, I sometimes, I'll just go like this. I don't even hesitate. I just drop it down like this. 
I don't bother. That's it. There we go, it's done. Why struggle through 16 inches of wood when you can turn around and crack it through eight inches? That's my point. You see, even this one, trust me friends. See, it's not a bad piece of wood. It's probably gonna split with this ax. But if it don't, see that, look at that. This is crazy. This, but the nice thing about these axes, friends, that I've designed here, look, one hand, out, done. So when it comes to this kind of wood, friends, the stringy stuff, See that, friends? Are you, are you, did you just see what I just did with that? Okay. Now, we gotta try something else. We gotta try this other ax of mine. This other bucking special. It's a little bit different profile than this one we were just using. It was. Not much, but it is. It's different. But you guys, for one thing, it's a little bit lighter. <laughs> See, I like that, but what I gotta make sure is, is this. Oh yeah, that's good. That's very good. Look at that, friends. Okay, that's a good sign. Friends, straight, straight, Straight across the grain. I've been wanting to get the right opportunity to show you guys about this. Friends, stick with me here on this. I talk about some stuff. It's just stuff that I've been doing for years, talking about splitting wood straight across the grain. Just stick with me here for a bit on this. It will help you. When you're splitting firewood like this, that's really straight grain, you can take, you can take for granted you think you'll get it? This is really straight, friends. Like, I mean, straight, straight. I want to show you a little something. 
you may not think this is a a, a point of, of talk about, but it is. I want to show you something. Come on over here. Straight grain wood. Split and straight grain wood. You split it like a pie, okay? If you think for one second, let's just watch this and then we'll shut her down. If you think that, like when you get to this stage, okay? Straight grain, you, the straight cutting through straight grain is not this. It's not this. It, it like, you know how you work around like this? This is, I didn't even hit it and it split. But I'll tell you something else. This is not. This is easy. You're not going to get easier wood. This is definitely not. You see what I mean? How that didn't split? You, you may think it, it makes a huge difference. What I'm saying is if you're literally right straight to the grain like that, like this. Okay, like this. If you're off a little bit, it makes a difference. And I mean straight across the grain, okay? It does, friends. It makes a huge difference. Especially in wood that's not as easy as this, okay? Do, do you know what I'm saying, friends? Okay? So, for instance, this one again. Let's look at this one again. So, straight grain is right there. Not right there. Even though it'll still split. Right? This is not. See? It didn't split. Because it's not straight across the grain. Especially when you're splitting them big rounds. That's not straight across the grain. It's on an angle. Now you go over here. It splits. See, I'm hardly hitting it and it's splitting. So straight grain, or I mean straight across the grain, is straight across the grain. Okay, these axes are nuts. They're nuts. Jonah. See, like, like this. Here's my point, friends. You need, to, you need to check this out. Okay, are you guys in? Watch what happens here now. There's our straight grain round, okay? Watch what I'm talking about. Let's do it like this. Let's get you right up freaking close like this, okay? Now watch what I mean. Okay, so you wanna split this wood and you're thinking, I wanna split it in half. First of all, you look for the crack. If there's any type of crack and you go for it. This will go pretty much anyway, but what you'll find usually is that your, your crack is usually off the, uh, the fattest part of the grain, which is out here somewhere, okay? So straight across the grain is that, it split. Did you guys see that? Let's see, I need to check the camera. Yeah, you did, you saw it. Okay, it cracked. So there's straight across the grain. This, you're, you're, now you start turning around. Well, if you, if you go like that, see what I mean, friends? You see what I mean? That little teeny bit that's not straight across the grain is gonna, it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. Keep working straight. See, I'm, I'm dropping the ax, literally. Now let's try off again. There you go, it didn't split. I'm just trying to show you these little things, friends, these little nuances of splitting wood that's gonna help you in the end when you're trying to conserve energy, okay? So don't think for a minute that these little things uh, don't mean anything, because they do, they truly do. So this one, for instance, if you go to split this here, it didn't split. I didn't smoke it, but it didn't split. Now, if I had gone like that, it would have split. So I just, I really like showing you guys this stuff. Now, I want to try something here. I want to make sure. Yeah, see, we're, we're very close with this. I wonder if this one is better at sticking or not. That's important to me. This is very important to me. I think this one is. Yeah, it is. I think this one's better at sticking. Because I want this to be an all around tool that people are into. You know what I'm saying, friends? See? Okay, this is, this is, all this stuff means something to me. Okay, let's, let's move on.
Off to the next one. The day turned out not bad. To the bunker. We sent an axe out today for somebody. Yeah, it's a special one. They're all like that. Friends, what did you think of them freaking bucking specials? Oh my dear Lord. I didn't show you the profile on that on them. That would be next. They're, they're splitting axes, friends. We made splitting axes. Those axes are splitting axes. And do you know what the crazy thing is? They actually chop. And the reason for that is, is because I made them sharp for about an inch so that it would get in, do its business, and then go after its profile and rock in its profile. Rocking in and in the sucking and in and in. <laughs> Over and out, friends. Be kind. We'll see you on the next video. It's freaking mid-December. Let's get the spirit rolling. Over and out, friends. Be kind.